All modern dogs are descendants of wolves. It has been discovered that particularly four dog breeds are closest to the wolf ancestors, which are Shiba Inu, Chow Chow, Akita, and the Alaskan Malamute. But what just happens when the wolves encounter the German Shepherd? Stay tuned to find out just that. You must have seen this video of a German Shepherd dog charging at a big white wolf. But as soon as the wolf calls its bluff and charges back, the German Shepherd runs back in full throttle. The number one mission of any dog is to guard and protect its territory. They do so by peeing at strategic locations and chasing away anything foreign or unfamiliar. And sometimes, when that foreign body looks intimidating and stands its ground, the dogs usually retreat. We can see similar behavior when dogs chase cars, but the moment the car stops, they really don't know what to do with the car and retreat. This behavior is mostly instinctive when their ancestors had to hunt and eat. Wolves are the largest members of the dog family. Wolves can roam large and long distances, sometimes up to 12 miles in a single day. Some interesting facts about wolves that you probably didn't know is that they have over 200 million scent cells and the pups are born deaf and blind with bright blue eyes. They usually don't get intimidated by German Shepherd. Now a pack of Kangals, that is a different story. Wolves are transient in nature, which means they are nomadic and have no fixed territory. A survey of Yellowstone in the 1970s found no evidence of a resident wolf population, but there were records of transient wolves in the park. Look at this CCTV recording, where you can see the stupid unaware owner has tied the dogs out in the open, probably having no idea about the wolves in his area. In general, wolves are very cunning. They sometimes send a single wolf from the pack to trigger a chase from the dog, where the entire pack can be waiting to ambush the prey. In spite of seeing the entire pack, the German Shepherd did not show any signs of fear. It straight out went for the attack. Must have been a really brave dog. But having been tied and the disadvantage of confronting a pack was a deadlock for the German Shepherd. The force of the pack breaks the chain and the German Shepherd gets dragged away by the wolves visuals of which I cannot show on YouTube. It is what it is. Wolves usually move around in packs with the alpha male and female leading the pack, followed by the beta and omega which carry the lowest rank in the pack. Sometimes when the alpha wolf of the group is very aggressive and the omegas do not get enough food for their survival, the omega leaves the pack's comfort and strength, becoming a lone wolf. And now that these lone wolves don't have the strength of the pack, they sometimes run into a pack of dogs. This is when the predator becomes the prey. These are pictures from a CCTV recording of one such incident, probably in a farm, where the lone wolf approaches a German shepherd. Looking at the size of the dog and fearing the risk of an injury, the wolf does not attack the German shepherd. Any wild animal in that case will always assess the prey before attacking. This assessment decides whether it should run or attack. The same reason why the safari guides don't want you to get down from the vehicle and while hiking. You have been advised to stand very close to one another or to get on top of one another, which may help in not instigating an attack from a mountain lion. This is because it sees the group of people or the vehicle as a single entity. But beware, this strategy may not work with the honey badger. They have a reputation of attacking even the king of the jungle and eating poisonous steaks for breakfast. What I hear from dog trainers and other owners, German Shepherds have a very balanced temperament. It usually knows when to engage and when not to, which I think is an important quality for any dog breed. The reason why these dogs are extensively used as guide, therapy, search and rescue dogs along with the military and narcotics. I am sure that all dogs which live on the fringes of the wilderness often encounter wild animals, can be a coyote, cougar, or even elephants in India. So for the love of dogs, don't tie them up outside when you already know of wildlife thriving in your area. Share this video with other dog owners too while you are watching Wild Ava with Nathan. And I will see you next time.